today's video I wanted to share again the designs that I created over the last few months to raise awareness for chronic illness I am NOT known for being able to advocate for myself very well so I created these designs to kind of speak for me and be able to share my story without actually having to put it into words a few weeks ago I made an online store that's connected with YouTube so I wanted to share it again with you and let you know that these shirts, these stickers, these sweatshirts are available to you if you are interested. Thank you so much for those who have already purchased the design. Zach and I are so grateful because it allows us a little bit more time and a little bit more resources to keep working on chronic illness education and awareness just like this video you are about to see. You can find my store below in the banner or you can find the link in the description box and let's get back to the video. in two years well first vacation in two years for both of us and um, I have been necessarily feeling the best I just had surgery a week ago um, I threw up my brains Monday Sunday and Monday and I'm still nauseated um, so you probably saw in the intro all the things I did to prepare and all the things I packed so I'm going to show you this trip and how I am going to muster through it all because I'm determined to have a good time. She's a fighter. <laughs> <laughs> I'm fighting this stupid nausea and all the problems I'm having and I'm going to ignore them and we're going to go have fun and we're going to ride roller coasters and if I have to barf into a trash can, so be it, but it's going to be a great time. Alright guys, it's a little bit later. We've been driving for an hour. Oh uh, yeah, a little over an hour now. About Eight. Wilmington, Delaware. I think I'm just nauseated in general, but driving. So, so I think it's your driving. He drives too smooth, too nice. I like to slam on the brakes. So I took Dramamine, which didn't really do a whole lot. We're actually visiting his grandfather, and so I'm trying to make it there. And then once we visit with him and leave, I'm going to take Fenergan. Um, I just have oral Fenergan that uh, my primary doctor got me, so I'll take that probably pass out for a good amount of the drive which is great because his friend's kind of crazy um, so I'll miss being stuck in a car with him <laughs> but just a little annoying it's I don't know why I've never had car sickness issues in just like the last year um, it's very annoying it doesn't happen when I drive but when anybody who is a good driver drives, can't do it, can't do it. I need like a crazy brake slamming, like speeding person to drive me and then I'm totally good. All 
right, guys? We just arrived at the train station. And we're not in Washington, right? We're outside of it. Just on the outskirts, correct. We, so, Maryland? Plug it in the destination. Yep, Maryland. We are in Maryland. And we're just waiting for Tyler Nine, four, to three, finish up two. in the bathroom. Because he spends more time in the bathroom than I do. Um, just waiting for him to come out. <sighs> this is Tyler. Hello. 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 My fellow Crohn's followers. <laughs> He does not have groans. I do not FYI. have groans. <laughs> Nor you, brain. You've definitely got bowel issues, though. Oh, that is for sure. That is that for is sure. no question about it. I definitely have bowel movements now and then. <laughs> well, everyone does. There might be something wrong down there. So we just got back to the hotel and Tyler and Zach went downstairs because they wanted to go swimming, but I don't really feel that great. I was in quite a bit of pain sitting in the same position for hours and hours in the car. And then we went out to eat and I really didn't eat the best as you could see, but I also wanted to enjoy the food. So I know that I'll have the rest of the night to relax. Now I'm going to take my medicine. I have to take Humera tonight, totally forgot last night, so I brought that along, and then I have to take all my nighttime meds, so I'm going to get that done, get cozy, get into bed, and pass out. <laughs> Hey, Zach. <laughs> what are you wearing on your head? Look at Tyler. I don't want to. I don't think, I don't think he has clothes on. All right, I'm going to bed. I'm going to die, I'm going to bed, and I'm not turning the camera towards the other side of the room because I'm afraid of what I will see. So, good night, Zach, and so, I'll see you tomorrow. Right, right. Good morning, guys. I'm here with Tyler. <laughs> Wave. Morning. Put my socks on. He's doing sock puppets. <laughs> and we're gonna get ready to go to breakfast and then Bush Gardens. Uh, <laughs> and, um, I'm bringing Dramamine so I don't throw up on the roller coasters like I was gonna last time at Dorney Park. No. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to drink one bottle of. <clears throat> Electrolytes. Electrolytes before we head to the park because <laughs> um, I tend to get dehydrated pretty quickly. And then at breakfast, I'm going to eat something bland that has a lot of protein, um, which there's really only one thing, I think, is eggs. Uh, so hopefully they have that. <laughs> Out of eggs, no. And we got the pass where we can eat every 90 minutes, so I should well, be good there. You should probably find our ticket so we can get in the park. Yes, that would be helpful. Okay, so we're going to head down to breakfast and then we'll head to the park. Woo! Yes, Just one more time. <laughs> we're at the park. I know, I'm old, but unfortunately, check is okay. best. So, I know them. Group free range tickets. Easy. The going to be So we, um, just explained to them that I have IBD and an ostomy and I got a band. So that way we can at least tell them 
you know, we can find out if, um, like, what time is the best to go to rides, which is really helpful because I can't really control what my ostomy does, and I have had trouble standing for longer periods of time or sitting for long periods of time. All right, so we go to each ride, and they give us a time, and it's good for an hour. So as long as we get an hour past the time within that hour, we can get on, which is really nice. Tyler, what did you get to eat? Meat. Meat? And Zach, what did you get to eat? The same thing, less meat. <laughs> less meat. As in no meat. <laughs> and what did Maggie get? A cup of water. You like Dasani? Dasani's my Take favorite. It. I don't care. I'll drink the. Here, trade me. That way I can carry it around. <laughs> Water's water to me. Alright, now I got Dasani. So, there we go. I got you. Keep hydrated. We are done with all the coasters and FYI a lot of people have questions. I don't do anything different than any other person when I get on a roller coaster. No belts, no nothing. Just go for it. Doesn't hurt my ostomy. <laughs> you at me. And all the haunted people are out so they're gonna come after me because I'm the scared one and it'll be fun. It is the next day, and we are exploring the historic town of Jamestown, um, or the island, I don't know. <laughs> I'm in the car while Zach and Tyler 
go down to the point, which is, you know, it's raining outside, so I don't really feel like going. Yesterday, we finished up at Bush Gardens, and we wound up walking 15 miles, which was maybe, maybe about, like, seven or eight miles too many for me, um, so I wound up feeling pretty terrible by the end of the night, and I probably should have gotten a wheelchair, but I felt funny about it. Um, I couldn't bring myself to have Zach wheel me around, and I know I, I probably should be okay, but um, my stoma tends to start hurting or kind of like around it inside when I'm standing for too long or if I'm lying flat for too long. That was really difficult, but at least the pass that I got yesterday allowed me to not wait in the lines. You still had to wait the same amount of time as everybody else, but it just allowed you to not wait physically in the line. You could go sit down or go use the bathroom or do what you needed to do, so that helped quite a bit. I don't know if I would have made it <laughs> quite as long if we didn't do that, um, so it was really nice. And you probably saw we hit all the haunted houses they had, we hit all the coasters, it was a really good time. My tips for you for chronic illness people or um, those with ostomies, when you go on a trip, the first thing is to always bring all the supplies that you can, even if you don't think you're going to use them, even if you haven't used them in months, bring Double the supplies for your ostomy bag or whatever medical procedure you have to do. Bring medications for pain, for um, allergies, whatever you might need. Bring extra clothing too because you never know. It seems like when your bag is going to leak, it's going to do it at the worst time. So just bring extra clothing in case. Stay hydrated. Drink your electrolytes, um, you know, drink your fluids, get that in so you're not getting dehydrated because you tend to not drink as much when you're out busy doing things. Wherever you go, ask if there are accommodations that they have, um, you know, policies set in place to not make things necessarily easier for you, but to um, kind of set you equal with others. So if you can't do the things that others can do, it allows you to have as much fun or enjoy the activity just as much as everybody else. Surround yourself with people who are going to advocate for you. Both Tyler and Zach were more than happy to do the explaining on my behalf because I'm just not super comfortable yet um, explaining. You know, I've had this disease for 15, 20 years and I still don't like asking for help. I don't like, um, you know, putting people out of their way to, like, assist me. I feel funny about it. I know I probably shouldn't, but um, I was very grateful getting the pass yesterday. I did get some not-so-nice looks when I was getting in the disability line um, because people can't see what's going on. And that's why I made those shirts, you know, the invisible illness um, making GI illnesses visible because people look at me and they're like, ah, oh, she's, she's good. But I think by the end of the day, people knew <laughs> something was wrong because I was bent over walking and holding my stomach. <laughs> Another tip is to eat the foods that you know won't bother you throughout the day. So I ate a lot of veggies. I know that doesn't work with a lot of people, um, with Crohn's or an ostomy bag, but that tends to be the thing, um, that doesn't make me feel bloated or, you know, just, ugh. So I ate a lot of that and I avoided the fat and greasy foods that are often in theme parks because it just bogs me down and it would have made the day so much worse. And I think the last thing that I would advise, you know, don't be afraid to ask your group to rest and just relax when you need to because if you just push yourself too far, you're not going to enjoy the rest of your time. So those are the tips I have for you, and I think Zach and Tyler are coming back, so <laughs> I will see you in the next video. Do you want to say bye? See you guys. Adios. <laughs> Tyler.